Aloha, this is Sky with Feminist News Network, the feminist news that you can use. Today is a slow day for me, so I'm going to turn it into a special day. I'm going to turn it into a sorry to bother you day. That's right. I'm going to go and see Boots Rally's new movie, Sorry to Bother You. Boots Rally from the coup. Ah, love is music. Hey, yeah. So um, I've been checking out the trailer and all the interviews on Doc, uh, Democracy Now, Hot 95. And uh, I'm really down with uh, Boots and, and his uh, acknowledgement of this corporate monster coup that America is going through right now because nobody is living a simple uh, living wage anymore and everything is being geared toward the 1%. So to, for him to have a movie that is about telemarketers and I was a telemarketer, hey, that's right. I had him coming from Florida to Chicago to Cincinnati just to come and hear that voice at the brokerage. Oh, yeah. So, I can relate totally to this film. Only money, not uh, being able to take care of your business. You turn to a telemarketing job and you start acting to make money because you can't make money the way you want. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can relate. So, I'm going to turn this into a... Sorry to bother you, Day. Yeah, I done twisted one up. I got my little something, something to take to the movies with me. Oh, yeah, I mean some fruit, okay? And now we're going to go and take Bubba and check it out. Now, I'm not going to Consolidated Theaters because they want to charge me $15. Hello. But it's le a little less than 13 to go to Regal, so that's where we're going to go. I thought I'd let you know that just in case. So it's kind of getting hot in here. So I gotta go. So let's have fun. Yay! Oh, sorry to bother you. Let's go. Me and Bubba coming in on the previews. Can't wait. Of course, we're way in the back back here. No surprise. Right, here we are at the movies. Ready? Well, I went to see it, and it was fabulous. It was great. I loved it. It reminded me so much. The test character, Detroit, reminded me of me so much, except I didn't ever fake a British accent or anything like that. But don't let me give away what's really going on in the movie. You've got to see it. You've got to realize and then open your eyes because... If we don't get our shit together and work against this corporate fucking coup that's going on out here in America and realize that we got to start a movement to, to get rid of what's going on and not fake out with this fucking gerrymandered election shit, we are not going to make it. So this movie I see as a warning call. And get ready. And watch it again. All right. Because it's funny. It's great. It's hilarious. I loved it. We're checking it out. Peace. I ran into people that want to go and see the movie. How about that? Now, why do you want to see the movie, Her? Uh, because it was funny. <laughs> the previews had me laughing. See? The previews had him laughing. But will he gain some consciousness after he sees it? We'll find out. All right. Here we are at the Dole Cannery Regal Cinema 18. All right. All right. So me and Butta are ready to go. We enjoyed the movie, enjoyed our time over here at Regal Cinemas. It was a lot better than the last time I was here a couple of years ago. So the best thing about the movie, it leaves me with feeling that at least somebody out there gets it and understands the plight of the working man. And Boots Rally does with this film. So, good to see a good dance film rise up. I know there's a lot of uh, Golden Globe buzz on it. And uh, 
hopefully we can see if it can be the first black Oscar uh, for a comedy. Wouldn't that be nice? But that means that more than Hollywood would get it. And I don't think they want you to. So if you enjoy stories like this and want to see more, contact me at feministnewsin at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check me out on Facebook. All right. Peace. This is a sorry to bother you today, but it's a sorry to bother you Wednesday, which is a two for one and ladies night. Whoop, whoop. Time to have fun. All right. So, sorry while I have a drink. All right. In the night of the city, people are willing to come. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh, sure. Oh, this one, this one. Back up. Oh, get along the curb over there. So, any good day that you have when you're up color doesn't go unpunished. So, before I was finished with my evening, I only had two drinks because uh, it's buy one, get one, and I only wanted one with a free one. Yeah. So when I went to leave, I went to take a picture of Wacky Key as I was going out on the Alawai from Lures, and guess what? I got pulled over for pulling out my cell phone to take a picture. Guess who's going to fight that? I am. And guess why? Because I took a picture of them. All I wanted to do, like any other girl, is just have fun. All right. Hey, sorry to bother you, but didn't you just get out of that good movie? Yes, I did. All right. Hey, so... Uh, Herb had seen the movie. What do you think of the movie, Herb? I thought it was good. Um, pretty good depiction of how it is, you know, how, <laughs> how uh, the corporate treats their employees. And, um, yeah. Yeah, you feel there should be a union, too. Yeah. yeah. If there was any kind of retail union, it would be awesome, right? Right. Yeah, I know, right? And I love Detroit. She was hot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. And squeeze was squeeze because he was putting on the squeeze, right? Right. And I, I, what what did you think about the boss, the big boss? Um, I thought he was a typical, you know. Corporate white asshole, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, right, right. You know, it, it had that... Uh, Kind of that modern Jim Carrey, uh, Dick and Dick and Jane, Dick and uh, Jane movie where they got the the Imran type people, and here they got the Amazon type people, you know, and got back on them, you know. You you don't fear that something like uh, this corporate slavery is gonna get like uh, like it did in the movie, do you? I mean, it kind of already is. I, mean, I know, right? Peanuts. Right? They're just we making. We do so much more. They're just making fun of it, right? Mm -hmm. Oh man! So you're hearing it real from people that watch. Would you watch it again? I would. All right. So I'm telling you, it's worthy. It's worthy. And over here in Hawaii, we're loving on it. All right. Peace. Okay, so to end the night, I'm going to light um, a candle that I made back in 2004 when I worked at Island Soap and Candle Works, and I took pride in doing traditional work that has been done for thousands of years, and this candle stayed pretty nice. It's a peacocky candle, and... <sighs> This is going to be my first time to light it, you know, because I need some kind of solace and peace from having a great day that tried to end in the same manner that it 
usually does for people of color. So give peace, give blessings, and thank God I didn't get locked up. All right.